Good day everyone, I'm Anton Bogdanovich from the University of Western Sydney and the goal of this demonstration is to illustrate our second step towards developing a full body motion capture interface for the virtual world of Second Life. What I showed you before in my previous demo is how to control the avatar with just this sensor on my hand, just by moving it left, right, up and down, how can the avatar move around and fly? Now the goal of this one is to show you how we can really take the data from all the sensors here I have around my body and how to translate it into real-time movement of the avatar that you see on the screen. And those of you who know what Second Life is about probably can already appreciate it right now. For those of you who don't, I will just give a brief introduction. Second Life is just a massive virtual world with virtual continents, virtual cities, virtual islands, virtual buildings. And me as a user, I can connect to any of those, teleport to any place. And once I do that, I'm visualized as an avatar that you see here on the screen, this geeky looking guy in orange pants. But the beauty of it is that I can also see other people. So I'm currently at this, some random dance club, right? And all these people have connected from around the world just to have a dancing party there, right? And the way they do it is they have a set of predefined recorded moves and they just play them one by one. And that's why they, they move much better than I do. But my work is about just capturing my real motion. So, yeah. So whatever I do, right, you can immediately see the avatar doing the same. So I can go and dance with other people just by properly dancing, not by sitting there and just clicking mouse buttons, right? And it's there, there are some limitations of Second Life, and it uses a lot of bandwidth because there are many people. That's why the movement is relatively slow. And I'll try to just to move to some different place, just to show you that it's it's not really our problem, but it's a, it's a problem of Second Life why why the movement are so so jerky as you see it. So now here you can immediately sense that the moves are much better, much faster, right? And many of you would, would think at this point, all right, so some geek went into some virtual world and then there, so what's, what's so special about it? And, and there is, believe me, there is much more to it than just dancing in a virtual world. What you see here, this thing will essentially shape the future of internet, will shape the future of video games, of virtual worlds, and in general, human-computer interactions. I'm not going to tell you how it's going to happen. I'm not, I, I, I realize there will be, that's a strong statement and there will be many questions going through your head right now. But just watch this space and you will get your answers very soon as more demos are coming out. So thanks for your attention.